Hello everyone, welcome to a new reading. Today we are doing a little something a little bit special, something a bit different. And someone in the comment section has repeatedly asked if I could do a reading for Taming. And I was thinking, well, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do a reading for him. I was thinking, well, since he already moved to a different company, why not do a reading about that? So I don't have a very specific question for this video as much as it's just is a just a very general idea of like what's going to happen now that Taemin changed companies or like how does he feel in that company what are the vibes what's the mood that kind of thing so it's going to be very open as in I don't have a very specific question as much as I have a scenario or a situation in mind which is now that Taemin has left SM and is in a new company how are things looking out for him in this new company so yeah so let's just take out a bunch of cards and see what the message is so let's see so now that uh, Taemin is in I believe he's in Big Planet what should we expect from him or what's going on there and I kind of want this card as well So we have rain with a keyword fecundity, we have water with a keyword creation, we have sun with a keyword light, we have time with a keyword discipline, and then we have ice with a keyword purity. And the numbers that we have here is 35, 29, 6, 41, and 33, in case any of those numbers are important or significant to him. So just looking at the oracle in his reading so far, it seems like we have a lot of water. I will include ice as part of water. So there's a lot of water here. We have one fire card. And then with time, I guess we can consider that an air card. Um, I'm saying that because I think in this oracle deck, there are elements to each card. I just don't know them from the top of my head. Now that we have seen the oracle, let's take out the tarot to clarify each card. We have the sun. We have the knight of cups reverse. We have the six of coins. We have the seven of wands reverse. And we have the moon with strength. To start off, all of the water energy that we saw in the oracle made me think of this sense of creation, this sense of working with the heart or working with emotions, and that kind of shows some of the, the first message that I got as well when I saw the tarot cards that came out. The first thing that came up is that he feels more comfortable in this new company. I can't tell you necessarily what gave me that idea. I think it was the Seven of Wands reverse, but he feels comfortable in this new company. There's a lot of work that has to be done, but he feels okay. He, It seems like he was able to integrate himself with the vibes and the energy that the company has in a way that he feels comfortable and safe. Now, if we look at the oracle oh and also with a combination of this ice card that also made me think of someone that feels comfortable but now if we look at the oracle here there's a sense of abundance with the rain card and having the sun to clarify it it shows that this abundance is, is one of he has this energy where he's able to create from a place of happiness he's enthusiastic he's enjoying his time in this new company and he's enjoying the process of creating his music and creating his album and stuff there's a sense of like whatever he's working on in this new company whatever projects are being planned or whoever he's working with in the sense of like his management and staff he feels very comfortable with his people and he feels very happy because a sun card does talk about someone that's very optimistic someone that's super confident someone that is doing well for themselves and also it it could talk about inner child healing, uh, but I'm also getting this sense of like, because he also has another card that has 
the, he has the sun card in this oracle deck so that also makes me think that there's this sense of like overflowing energy a sense of bringing light into bringing light into the world was the words that came out but i was thinking of something along the lines of the of being able to bring a lot of fertility or allowing things to grow or allowing creation to happen so there's a sense of like these this new company that he has entered is one that he feels so comfortable that he enjoys the process of creating he enjoys the process of all of these projects and there's also this sense of like he feels like there's a lot of energy a lot of potential that he can work with and that probably brings him a sense of reassurance as well I, i'm seeing the number seven right here in in the rain card so that makes me think that maybe july could be important like i know that's when his birthday is but maybe just july in general could be very significant or maybe seven days from now we're gonna hear something or seven weeks from now we might hear something and this something could be related to him working again basically but yeah there's a sense of also with the sun i'm thinking of how the sun is able to is one of the elements necessary for plants to create food for themselves so this makes me think of nourishing this sense of growing this sense of feeling alive again so i do feel that this new company has provided him with either the tools or maybe even the energy and the security that he needed to create what he wants to create to be able to work on the projects that he wants to work on so there's this sense of like he feels very happy he feels very content and i wanted to talk about inner child healing so this sun card doesn't really have that imagery but usually we see a child that is like on top of a horse and it's a and to me, the sun always represents this very positive energy of someone that's doing inner child healing. It's the energy of someone that is able to connect to a part of themselves that many usually forget or that they had forgotten over time. So I do feel that in this new company, he feels like a child again. He feels like this very clean energy, very, I guess we can say very pure there's no baggage, there's no, um, there's no deception, there's no lies here. He feels like everything's crystal clear with communication and that probably brings him a lot of security as well. Now with the water card, we have this feeling of like he has a lot of knowledge, a lot of skills, and a lot of experience in the industry that he's in. So all he needs is the time and space to create what he wants to create. There's also this sense of like, since he's been in the industry long enough and he's been active for a majority part of that time, there's this sense that he already knows the best way to communicate what he wants to communicate. And may it be through the music choice, may it be through dance, may it be to the promotion of his own album. There's something along the lines of like he already knows how he works. He already knows the message that he would like to deliver. And he already knows how he's going to go about it. And because of that, all he needs is the time to allow those ideas to flow through. To make them into something a bit more tangible. And just allow the process of creation to unfold on its own. There is a sense of going with the flow. There is a sense of just thinking, feeling, and vibing. So the Knight of Cups could talk about romance could talk about someone that's very creative could talk about someone that's moving forward someone that is changing going with the flow this is pisces energy by the way oh and with the sun we have leo energy just pointing that out um so with this card being reversed to me the knight of cups usually talks about a proposal someone that is bringing up an offer that comes from the heart and it could usually talk about like a, like a romantic confession but in this case since we're talking about his career then to me that will represent someone that is offering a project or an idea. And with it being reversed, to me it feels like at the moment, Taemin is still going through the process of just of analyzing, planning, and thinking. So he hasn't really put out an idea of like, this is what I want my project to look like, or this is what I want to do. This is the next concept that I want to work on. I don't think he has outright spoken out the details of what he wants to work on and taking on a project quite yet i think he's still in the process of getting to know 
everyone, getting to know management and how everyone functions. He's still in the process of learning what the expectations are from his part and from the company. There's also this sense of like he hasn't really been offered projects quite yet. And I don't think this is necessarily a bad idea as much as I think he's just he just wants some space to think things through and feel the emotions that he has to feel and slowly accommodate himself in this new environment before he can bring something a bit more tangible and something more concrete. It, again, there's a sense of like he's still creating something. So he's kind of just working with this material that is not quite physical yet. So it's not even... So it's like when you have a bunch of ideas and thoughts in your mind, but they haven't organized themselves quite yet. So it's just like a bundled mess of fragments. And I do feel that because of that, he hasn't really put anything together quite yet. And he hasn't really put up like an idea of like, this is what I want to do in terms of like the creative process of his work. Now with the sun, we have the word light. And here we have two people that are kind of looking at this ball of fire. <laughs> ball of fire, sure. That's the way of describing the sun. And this feels like in his company, he's learning how to work with other people. He's trying to become more aware of what everyone knows and what they're good at. Like what skills they have, how do they manage each other and how do they work with each other. Like the synergy, he's trying to figure out how everyone works, what everyone's expectations are, how everyone functions. So I that he knows what tools are at his disposal. Because I'm thinking of this light as a way of like knowing what's ahead of you or knowing what's within your realm or what's within your domain like there's this sense of like he's trying to analyze the situation that he's in but he's also trying to analyze the environment that he's going to be working with and that of course includes the people that are in big planet as well as the resources or the network that the company has so i do feel that right now he's just trying to understand how everyone functions and how everyone works now the six of coins or the six of pentacles is a card that is clarifying this sun card with the word light this makes me think that he's trying to learn the best way to negotiate with people the six of coins could talk about good fortune coming into your life or being able to provide good fortune to other people the six of coins also describes to me an equal give and take relationship with people so i do feel that in this case this shows that at the moment he's trying to figure out not only who he's going to be working with but also the best way to negotiate with them and have a mutual beneficial relationship with everyone is like okay this is the skills that you have that you can provide then i want you to work in these areas and do these things and i think that's that's kind of where he's at it's like okay i want to see what these people have to offer what skills they're good at and what potential all of these people have and kind of like push them to what is it called to work at their maximum or to be able to give their best effort constantly so i do feel that this sits of coins kind of shows that he is at the moment learning how learning the tropes as well I, those, those those were the words that came in now if i remember well the story of the sits of coins there is this sense of like by being kind and compassionate to others this in its change these people will provide the resources and tools necessary for whatever it is that you need if we look at the story of the sits of coins it kind of feels like right now what he's going through is just helping people and i think the best way that he's helping them is by providing them with a lot of knowledge of how the industry works and also the brand that taming has is going to be one that will bring a lot of attention and is going to also bring a lot of like hype and it will also bring a lot of like network and projects of people that want to work with him now those benefits will be given to the company that he's in as well if that makes sense so there's a show that wants to work with taming well now that he's in a different company there's going to be new connections that are going to be created that the company can definitely benefit from so that's what i'm saying like 
he is able to not only provide knowledge and skills that he has like harness himself but also the brand that he carries as a soloist the people that want to work with him now are going to be able to become an, another channel or another network for this company that he's in now the next card that we have is time with the word discipline and the card to clarify it is the seven of wands reverse the seven of wands upright usually talks about someone that is not giving up someone that's working hard to overcome a challenge an obstacle maybe even someone that's working through their fears may it be something a fear that is an external force that's getting in the way of your progress or a fear that can be an internal insecurity or limiting belief so with it being reversed the first thought that i got was like is he giving up on something because reversals could be like the opposite or like someone that is not fully embodying the energy of the card. So I thought of that because I just edited a video and in that video someone got the seven of wands reverse and the message there was like giving up on the idea of something. But in here I, th I don't think that's the message. I don't think he's giving up. The first because okay the first thing that I thought of when I saw the card of time was the whole idea of like allowing time to do its thing allowing things to slowly grow on their own allowing um the process or everything to just go at its own pace going on the flow of things there's this whole idea of giving time to time the sense of like in order to create something beautiful it's better to take your time and take care of the details and instead of like rushing to just finish it and completing it so with Taemin, I feel that that's kind of where it's going at, especially because the card time has a word discipline in it. It makes me think that at the moment, he's working on a routine. He's working on con to continue improving himself as a person and all, all of the skills that could continue benefiting him in his career. There is a sense of like taking everything one step at a time. There is a sense of looking at all of the details, looking at all of the resources, and right now he's at the stage where he's seen what it's at his disposal what tools people and ideas are at his are within his reach like he's still learning he's still creating a foundation and i think this is where the seven of wands reverse comes in is like this the story here is talking about someone that is is like building the path for rail tracks railroad tracks and it's kind of like building tunnels through mountains and stuff it's like this idea of building and creating so to me the seven of wands reverse is actually saying that he's putting a lot of work he's putting a lot of effort taking a lot of actions in a way proactive actions to manifest his goals within this new company but the the reason why this card is reversed is that even though he's actively getting things done it's m more along the lines of like the two or three of wands and leading to the four of wands in tarot and what i mean by this is like he's in the planning stages of creation and even though he's actively taking action to get used to the company and maybe start working on a project he's more in the stages of creating a strong foundation for himself within this company it's like he wants to know what expectations the company has of him and also negotiating what his expectations are of the company and then also he is getting to know the people that he's going to be working with and surrounding himself with as well as the environment that he's going to be in and by doing all of these things of getting to know all of the parts that he's going to be working with that will allow him to create a stronger foundation for him to get a better idea of how he can create these new projects that he may have in mind so he's doing he's proactively working on creating a project but right now he's working on like the behind the scenes he's working on creating a foundation of creating a new system that will work with him in these projects that he wants to start working on for his career so i do feel that this seminal ones is reversed because all of the hard work that he's putting in in his projects and in his career is still behind the scenes so we will not as the we the public will not see it until a bit further 
along the lines. So that's why I'm saying it reminded me of the two, three, or four of wands. It's like creating home, creating something stable, creating a foundation that he can work with. It's kind of like he's working on setting the soil and preparing the land before he can like plant the seeds of his creation, right? It's like there's this sense of he's preparing the groundworks before he can start planning ideas and communicating his thoughts about what he wants to do and what he wants to work on so that's why the seven of wands is reversed it's like he's not necessarily giving up as much as he is taking things one step at a time and creating a routine that will create the environment that will be the most ideal for him to work in mm -hmm. so so far his reading is still very positive now we have the last card that we have here is a word eyes with purity and we have to clarify this we have the moon and strength. The moon is Pisces energy which we saw once earlier and with strength we have Leo energy. So hmm. with Pisces and Leo energy the best way I can describe this in the sense of timing is that in Pisces season Taming was like barely getting accustomed to this new company, which that will be mid February to mid March. That's Pisces season. And in Leo season, we're going to start seeing like the fruits of his hard labor, his hard work. So that will be mid July to mid August. And what I mean by this is that right now he's still in like the behind the scenes, creating a strong foundation process. He's still in the planning process of sorts. But I think, I did mention that the number 7 stood out to me. So that kind of shows that maybe in late July we're, we might get news of a comeback. Or maybe he will have a comeback during that time. So we're going to, in like us, the public, it's going to get a better idea of what's going on basically. You know what I got? we have like this we have the sun and we have the moon so it makes me think of we're going to finally get a bit of clarity of like what's going on and how he's been doing in this new company and we're going to hear about that in july now with the purity in eyes that makes me think of seeing things clearly it makes me think of someone that has been in higher vernation someone that has been doing cleansing and healing so I do feel that in this new company, he has felt very lighthearted. There's no baggage, there's no conflict, there's no tensions. So that makes him feel good. That makes him, f that I think that's one of the reasons why he feels comfortable in this new company. Which of course, I'm very glad that he feels happy that he was able to sign in this new place that brings him a lot of comfort. Anyway, the thing with the moon though... I'm seeing these two little raccoons or yeah I'm seeing the two raccoons and I thought they were very cute. Um, I wanted to point them out because I thought they were adorable but I don't know how they tie down to his reading. <gasps> and you know what? And I have the deck because I'm going to use it in a different reading. In the Wild Unknown Spirit Animal deck there is a raccoon card and that one does talk about like coming out of your shell in the sense of like showing your true colors not hiding behind a mask this whole idea of like creating your brand in the most sincere and honest way possible so i do feel that maybe the reason why those little raccoons in the moon card um stood out to me because of the message that the raccoon has where is it so i can show it to you guys where are you here So here you go. This is the raccoon card. <laughs> this is the raccoon card that I was talking about. It's like coming out of the shadows. There's this. This is an earth element, by the way. So this is kind of like being able to come out of the shadows, take off your mask, and show your true colors. It's like creating a brand. And if I'm combining that message with the moon and the ice card that we have right here, is like being able. I do feel that in this new company, he feels comfortable enough to show who he truly is. And he feels like he will be able to create a brand or create an image of him as an artist. I would like to point out that I'm recording this on April 8th. 
which is when we have the solar eclipse. And at this very moment that I'm recording this, the eclipse is going on. I thought it was just getting cloudy because it's been kind of like rainy this past couple of days. But no, it seems like it's because the eclipse is going on right now. Never mind, the eclipse is going to happen like in two minutes. So I'm going to pause it here, check out how all of that is going out, and then I will continue with his reading. But yeah, there's this... the To me, this eclipse is super important because the fact that he has the moon and the sun card right here, it feels like it's very significant for taming. But I'll get into the details of what that means after I after I go through my own experience. Give me a second. So now I'm back. And all I have to say is, I think I missed the solar eclipse by a little bit. And even, like, it's not a very big deal that I missed it because since, you know, I live in Chicago, so we didn't get to see, like, the whole thing. We were going to only witness, like, a percentage of it. I think in northern Texas or southern Illinois, <sighs> I was going to get a better view of it. So, what went we? Anyway, let go, let's go back to Taming's reading. So, one of the things that I was going to mention, though, is that the whole idea of the sun and the moon. So, I did want to kind of talk about it because he got two major arcanas that have these luminaries in them. And since I am recording this when a solar eclipse has happened, that makes me think that for his career, one thing that we're all going to notice or witness in this new company is that he's going to shine brighter because he's going to show a vulnerable side to himself. And this is not because he's in a tough spot or anything. As much as through his art, under the spotlight, he's going to show the... Or he's going to express a side of himself that he feels more comfortable with showing now. And that could be because he's surrounded by people that he feels pretty content with working. Or he has the resources and the freedom to kind of take off his mask. And by his mask, I'm not saying that he was lying or deceiving us in any way, shape, or form. But there's more the sense of like he feels comfortable. And that kind of takes me to the strength card that I'll get in a bit more detail in a little bit. But he feels so much comfortable showing this vulnerable side of himself, showing the scars of all of these difficulties and challenges he has encountered in his life. And because of that, that makes me think of like the connection of the sun and the moon in astrology. So the sun is supposed to show like our external environment, external environment, our external appearance as well as our personality. So the one that kind of takes a spotlight in our everyday life and it's usually the sun in astrology in astrology usually shows like the parts that shine the brightest in other areas that our sign touches so in this case we're taming things of cancer so say sun is in cancer it kind of shows that it highlights a little bit more of his vulnerable feminine side that's why he is able to have this ambiguous vibe to him when he's performing because he has a son in cancer, so that makes it easier if he embodies that energy. Also, it may, I don't know where his moon is at in his chart, but if you do, that could be a bit significant as well. But the other thing that I was going to mention, though, is like the moon in astrology. I mean, the moon in tarot usually represents the unknown, the mysteries of life. It could be energy that's a bit muddy, or it could talk about the mysteries of life in the sense of information that we don't know, things that we're not aware of. The moon does talk about intuition. It does talk about things that are not super clear, so it could talk about illusions. And here it's supposed to show that here the raccoons can't tell the difference between the actual moon and the moon that is reflected on this body of water. And to me that kind of goes back to the meaning of the raccoon that we talked about earlier about having a mask. And with the ice and purity connecting it to this moon card, again, it makes me think that in Taemin's new company, he's, he feels comfortable enough to be a bit more transparent and show even the size of himself that he was not aware of or to show his uncertainty and his insecurities about something is maybe even talking about the fears of not knowing what's going on or like the fear of the future and how uncertain that can be like maybe he may talk he may take out like a song or a concept related to time and self-discovery self-knowing and the uncertainty of the future and the unknown like the mystery of life 
However, there's also a message of strength and power that we see in this reading. And here we have the strength card. So the strength card, as I mentioned earlier, is Leo energy. And here in tarot, the strength card is supposed to symbolize someone that is taming a beast with love, with care, with a charming attitude. It's, instead of like fighting for dominance, is more of like showing compassion or showing or using other methods and other ways of obtaining this power or containing it or controlling it, if that makes sense. And the strength card does talk about someone that is very confident, someone that is gaining strength, but of course it's beyond physical, it's emotional strength, mental strength, and I will even say having clear communication about something and connecting that to Tamin's career and his reading, it makes me think that in this new company, everything is a lot clearer. People do talk, are a bit more straightforward and a bit more clear with their communication in such a way that it makes it easier for him to work with his people. But the other thing is like, these cards were kind of also talking about like the concept that he might take out in this company. Like the first thing that he might show to the public. And I think it is going to be his newfound strength, his newfound confidence, and how he feels a lot more secure in this environment. And because of that, he will be able to show a vulnerable side of himself or a side of himself that other people had not seen in the public. Um, and I do feel that maybe his fans will be aware of these issues that he may address or talk about. But at, but now it's going to be a bit of it. But now it's going to be a lot clearer for those fans that may have been like, you know, I could tell that he was not, not okay, or I could tell that this had bothered him. But now he's going to communicate it in a bit more of a concrete, straightforward way that other people will also notice it and be like, oh, so he was going through this. He he was thinking this. He was feeling this. And I do feel that this will show a new side of him that is a bit more vulnerable, but it's totally genuine and sincere with who he is as a person. And I do feel that the only way this could have been possible was because he was given the time to create such a project and express himself in this way, but also he was welcomed into an environment that not only does it work in a systematic way, that is very efficient, but also it works in such a way that he himself is comfortable enough to express this side of him. And that's why I do feel that it's going to feel almost as like he's taking off his mask. Not necessarily because he was deceiving people as much as now he feels a bit more comfortable to express these vulnerabilities that he was keeping very close to his heart. And he may have even left in the back of his mind so they stayed a bit dormant for some time. I will leave this here. I hope you guys like this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It makes me think, again, he's like the sun and the moon. It makes me think that he's finally showing even a side of himself that he kept very private. Or he's going to show a part of himself that many people were not aware of. Because the moon does talk about um, things that other people don't really see. Especially since he's an artist, this is totally very personal to him. So yeah, they look forward to that. I feel very happy to see that he feels comfortable in this new environment. Like a lot of the cards that we see here makes me think that he's ready to work. He feels very like creativity is flowing through very well. And he sees a lot of potential with the rain and the sun card. He sees potential in a lot of... He feels very abundant in this environment. It's just a matter of time and for the energy to flow so before we can actually see a product or something a bit more tangible be presented to the public and in a way reassure us for sure that he is doing okay in this new company. So for some time, a lot of things are going to happen behind the scenes, but do know that at the moment he feels like this new company is very promising and it has a lot to offer to the vision that he wants to create for himself. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that the person that has been frequently asking for a taming is very satisfied with his reading. Because not only is it a very good one. 
I just do hope that I was able to at least answer at least one of their concerns about him. So in a way, it is a bit of an update of how he's doing, but it's a little bit more centered about the company that he entered. So it is also connected to his career in a way because, well, the company that he entered is connected to um, his idol life, his his work. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one whenever that is, however that is. I hope that you find this video interesting or at least learn from it. And thank you so much for all the love and support you have shown me and the channel. And yes, I think that's it. So see you in the next one. Love and healing from my part to you. And bye.